excited to talk about the Euros. <laughs> yes. Now, the first game kicks off tonight with Scotland taking on Germany. Yes, and right now, the German city of Munich might want to consider swapping its Bavarian beer and Lederhosen for drams of whiskey and tartan kilts after the arrival of 200,000 Scottish fans. Uh, is it me still? Sorry. <laughs> now, soaking up the atmosphere and enjoying the Tartan Army party is STV reporter uh, Laura Boyd. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Laura. Wow, oh, look at that. Here we go. Guten Morgen, Alison and Josie. We are common. Ich liebe dich, which is quite a mouthful, but it does mean I love you in German. And my goodness, are we feeling the love in Munich today? The atmosphere is electric because tonight, of course, it's the start of Euro 2024 and Germany are going to be taking on Scotland, the best sons in the world, aren't yeah! you? Scots come out on force. Around 200,000 are expected to descend on Germany in the coming days. Now, if my maths is correct, I make that about 1 in 25 Scots, 4%. So if you're in your office just now, you're looking around, there are some empty chairs. Chances are somebody's probably taken a sickie. But don't worry, come here, back here, camera. We are not snitches on this morning. All these people are legitimately here, and I'm going to chat to some of them and find out about their journey. So let's start off with someone who has travelled for miles and miles in a 400 pound banger so tell me all about this yeah we decided to do things a bit differently so we bought a 400 pound banger to transport us from brora in the far north of scotland down to munich and um, we were about 56 hours traveling and we got here yesterday afternoon so we're raising money for mikey's line a local suicide prevention charity in inverness an amazing cause and you've done an amazing job how was the journey Aye, fantastic. Really good, aye. Couldn't have gone better. Yeah, perfect. I love it. The spirits are high. Now, this is your first time out of That's Scotland. Right. Tell great. me about yeah. this. Yeah, 55-year-old and decided to come to the game with Scott and young Andy here. Got a bit of a sore throat, you need to excuse that. But, yeah, but it's good. What makes it so special? Why have you chosen the Euros to come to as your first trip out of the country? Uh, Scotland, Germany, the opening, opening the game, you know, so it's... The passion and the pride in the team. Now, what I am loving is there are so many families here, people of all ages, father and son we have here. You've travelled. How special is this moment? It's very good, Laura. Super excited to be here. And regardless of the score today, it's going to be an amazing lifelong memory for Austin and I. Well, regardless of the score, we have high hopes. What do you think the score is going to be, Austin? Uh, I think it's going to be 1-1, one, one, but I want Scotland to win. 1-1? One, one. I mean, we'd take that, wouldn't we? But if we're hopeful, we've got high, high hopes. You're all pals. I mean, what has it been like so far? Oh, it's great. The atmosphere is unbelievable. Just walking into the, the square here and seeing just Scotland fans everywhere, the music, the singing, the atmosphere is just brilliant. It is, brilliant. It is really, really lovely. Right, we've got some more people here. Hello, lovely lady. Where have you travelled from? Well, I've come from Bothron with my sister-in-law and her family, and... We have met these kids from Bolton and we're now honouring the members of the Bolton Tartan Army. The Bolton Tartan Army, I love it. And can we just get a shot of these nails, please? Cam Cameraman Lee, look at these. You have gone all out for I this. Have, Are you loving it so far? I'm loving it, it's brilliant. The atmosphere is fantastic. Everyone is just so friendly, it's just brilliant. What are your hopes for the boys tonight? Just enjoy and get out there and just show them what we've got and get into them. <laughs> <laughs> get into them, I love it. And guys, how excited are you to be here? Excited. What has it been like so far? Has it been amazing? Yeah. What's been the best bit? The atmosphere. The atmosphere. And do you think Scotland can win tonight? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? What's the score going to be? 2-1 Scotland. 2-1. Anyone else think we could get a 2-1? Yeah. <laughs> These poor men had to lift me earlier on. Honestly, I'm sorry. What a start to your day. What is your score prediction? I'll go for 2-1 now. We'll take two that one as well, too. 1-0 uh, John McGinn last minute. 1-0 yes. John McGinn. Now, we have to say thank you to our lovely band who were playing here as well. We have a, a musician who has gone viral as well. Tell me about your experience here. Yeah, it's been incredible. So from last year, I played Isle of Wight Music Festival and walked past the cop and I was playing a big dance tune. My head just went from Glasgow to Berlin. We're here to see the Scotland win. Posted it, went viral. Hamden Park, now we're here and we're singing it in Germany. And you're singing it on this morning for us, which is brilliant. And you had a whole load of musicians who have just come together for the just love of the team. Just come together for the love of the team, that's us. Brilliant. Well, guys, do you think we can do it tonight? Yay! Do you think we can get further than we've ever got in this Yay! tournament? Yay! Can I steal your hat? Certainly. <laughs> 
I love it. This well, listen, there is only one way to see this out. Tonight, there is going to be no Scotland, no party. Are we ready? Come along. Please sing along at home, Alison and Josie. Everyone enjoy it. Come on, Scotland. Let's go for it. Come on, no. Scotland. A lovely time, isn't that? I'm really jealous. Absolutely <laughs> lovely, lovely side. And on the other side of Germany, there's another Scot. Looking forward to tonight's game. Yes, Graham Sooners is a Scottish football legend as well as an ITV sports pundit. And he'll be watching his national team from Berlin tonight. And uh, that's where he's joining us from now. Good morning to you, Graham. Good morning, morning, Graham. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Aww. Now, Graham, you are regarded as Scotland's greatest ever midfielder. Um, what will the support of the Tartan Army mean to the Scottish players? Oh, it's everything. You know, I just had to turn my volume down on my little thing here on the side of me. Um, they're special. You know, they're famous for being special. Uh, I believe there's in, in excess of 100,000 of them in Munich right now, so they'll, they'll make themselves heard. Um, you know, when you're, when you're lined up before the game and they're playing Flower of Scotland, um, it certainly makes the hair in the back of your, your neck stand up. It is a, it is a, a, a very special occasion. Um, we all think it's special. I suppose every nationality would say their, their, their national anthem is, is special, but ours, I just feel that the um, Flower of Scotland is something else. It must be lovely. I mean, it's, I think it's in excess of 200,000 Tartan Army are going to be there. Oh. I mean, you've played some huge games. At this point now, how do you keep your cool and what sort of things would you be up to now? Well, they won't be getting too excited right now. I would imagine, where are we now? It'll be, they'll be relaxing in the hotel, then they'll have lunch, then they'll go back to their beds and rest. And then when you actually get on the bus on the way to the stadium, you're picking up the vibe off the crowd when you get near the stadium, that's when you started to get excited. You've somehow got to park that, because you don't want to be wasting that energy. And then you get into the stadium, you go out and warm up, you come back in and it just gets hotter and hotter near a kickoff. And then you, it's, it's controlling your emotions, you want to be fired up, but you don't want those emotions to take you into negative territory where you're using your, your energy, uh, losing energy in a bad way. Keep your focus, don't be too excited, in my case, it was a case of don't get too excited and get a yellow card early on in the game. But I think, you know, we, we're, we've got a very, difficult, a very difficult game tonight. You know, we're playing against the host nation in the opening ceremony. It doesn't get any tougher. This is, a, these are a good, this is a good German team, a very good German team. And we just have to go there and make sure we do our best. We help, we'll play a brand of football that might be counter-attacking, whether we can do that, defend well and nick something on the break, or maybe get something from a set piece. I think that's our best hope. I think we'll spend a lot of the time without the ball tonight, so we have to be totally, we have to be totally on it. We really do. We have to be concentration, concentration levels have to be 100%. Yeah, and you're no stranger to these huge, huge matches. Um, did you have any like pre-match rituals or, or any superstitions when you were playing? Uh, it's morning television. Can I say oh. what my one was? Well, I, I, I well be clean, rude. be clean. I, um, I would, right, right. I, football boots, no socks, um, jock strap, and my shin guards. I would tape to my legs and walk around for 10, 15 minutes. I know it's a horrible thought this time of the morning, but that, that was mine. I did have a goalkeeper, Bruce Grobler, who would never leave the dressing room until he kicked the ball against the light switch and switched off all the lights. Now, we all had different quirky ones. We asked that question. You're, you're imagining me with my jock strap <laughs> on, Alison. I know. I've got this vision now and I can't get it out of my head. Uh, well, listen, Graham. It's horrible. Um, it's <laughs> horrible. Enjoy the game, my darling. I know you're going to have a great time. I know you're going to enjoy it. Um, ITV yeah, One's live coverage of Germany versus Scotland starts at 6:30 p.m. on ITV One and ITV X. Thank oh, you, Graham. Good luck, Graham. Good, good luck. luck. Thanks. Oh, amazing. thank you. Thank you.